Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to try a new type of swipe, at least new for me. I've, I've been seeing uh, others to do it online and I wanted to give it a go myself on camera. I, I have tested it once off camera and it went, it went relatively well. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to share it, at least my way of doing it and, and uh, have some fun with it today. And I've got a vision in my head and we all know how that goes sometimes. So we'll just see what happens. So let's go get started having some fun with this swipe. All right, for this piece, I have got a 10 inch round that I get at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to run through the colors really quick and then we'll talk about the pillow. So the first color, and actually let me let me backtrack a little bit. So I wanna do a swipe and I've been seeing a few people, uh, Shelly uh, is one of them, doing a particular swipe where you kind of put a couple different colors here and then your swipe is here. And then the concept is as you spin it out or tilt it, um, you know, the main color you put up here and here, and then your design kind of in the middle and, and going across it, if that makes sense. And, and, and I'll explain more as we go along, but I wanted to kind of give that overview. So when I show you the colors, you can kind of understand what I'm going to do with them. So the first one I have is the Parage Posse, the Gold Rush. And that's what it looks like in the can. And then, and also I have um, a, a mixed bag of pouring mediums today. I'm using up some more old paints. I've been uh, cleaning out my studio and I've found more paints. Um, so I'm gonna be using both the uh, Valspar Varathane pouring medium and the Infinity Josonia. And all of this information, everything being used today is gonna be at the beginning of this video in snapshots and also in the description box down below per usual. So with the Gold Rush, this is mixed with the uh, Valspar Varathane. And I did add just a touch of GAC 800 just to thin it out a little bit. And so this is gonna be one of my colors where I put kind of up here. And then my next color is Black Umber by Joe Sonia. And I, I prefer this over just straight black. It's not as harsh, which is why you, you see me using it a lot instead of uh, just, you know, like a, a oxide black or a lamp black. Um, I kind of prefer the softness of this. So here is this one. This is also mixed with the Valspar Varathane. And again, I added just a little bit of GAC 800 to thin it out just a little bit more. And this is going to kind of go in this portion of the canvas. Um, all right. And then my swiping colors, I have... All right, my swiping colors. I have got Atelier Interactive, the red gold. And here's this one. I I think this one is mixed with the Infinity Joe Sonia. Don't quote me on it. It works just fine with either one. <laughs> um, but I did have to thin it a little with GAC 800. And then my next color is Antique, uh, Antique Copper metallic which is a, another Parage Posse paint and that's what that looks like in the tin and this is mixed with the Valspar Varathane pouring medium. I think all of these I added a little bit of GAC 800 instead of me just saying it <laughs> every few seconds. I did add a little bit of this to this one as well. There's the consistency and then my last one is the Golden Fluid the Napethal Red Medium, and I just have a little bit. This is mixed up with the Infinity Joe Sonia, and this does not have uh, the GAC 800 in it. There is a chunk in there, though I'm gonna have to get out. And then I'll just show you the cell activator now, too. I just mixed up a fresh batch. I've got the Australian Floetrol uh, mixed with the uh, Amsterdam Titanium White at four to one. And here's that and we're gonna I'm gonna lay down the pillow and I'll now show you the swipe tool. So the pillow is the Glidden Premium. I've got the eggshell today. Using up the rest of what I got in here. That should be enough. Let's get that out just a little bit more. All right. And then the swipe tool I'm going to use 
is this guy right here. I got it at Blick. It's their brand. Blick RGM. It doesn't have a number on it, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing a number on it. Um, but it's it's the bigger one. There's there's two of them, and this is the, the, the size large. I think what I'm going to lay down first is the black umber, and I want to put it right about up here. I hope I have enough for what I want to do. We're going to find out. I know already I got white in there. Ha! <laughs> see if I can cover that. Or just make it worse. <laughs> that is so funny. All right, we're just going to roll with it. And then I'm going to take the gold rush and I'm going to put it down here. In a similar fashion. Probably should have mixed up some more, but this is, for all intents and purposes, kind of a an experiment of sorts. I've not done a swipe this way, save for once off camera, and it was a fluke. <laughs> now when I'm attempting to do it, it may not go as well, but we're going to have fun with it anyways. All right. I, uh, <laughs> I just kind of took my finger and took most of the white paint out in there. There's a little bit that's stuck, so we're going to roll with that. So now what I'm going to do is the other three paints, the uh, the red and orange colors, I'm going to kind of lay down in the middle, and then I'll put the cell activator on the tool and we'll swipe it. So I think the first one... First one I want to put down is the... Uh, the red gold. There's that. And then I want to put down the antique bronze. Is it antique? What is it? <laughs> I almost called it antique bronze. It's antique metallic copper. That. And then just a little red because red always takes over. And we're going to go from there. All right. So that is where I want the colors to be. Now I'm going to put the cell activator, the white cell activator on here, and then we're going to swipe just like that. All right, here we go. way a little because it's coming off that edge already but it's filling in nicely I've been seeing people using uh, picks combs all that good stuff to do their lines I usually do um, you know with my skewer so I thought I would just give this a go and see
Nah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone. I feel like I'm gonna be doing too much to it already. All right, I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will see what comes of this. All right, here's what this looks like before we start spinning it out. I think I wanna move it that way just a little bit just to get that edge off. And back in the center, put the paint in the center and kind of move it up. down just a little before we start spinning. All right. Just a hair. All right, we're in view. All right, let's just give that a quick spin. Get that white off at the top. Make sure it goes over and then bring it back. And then I think I'm going to do another spin. There's still paint in the middle moving around, but we're getting close. This is kind of what I was after here. All right. That's more like it. I think I want to do just. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to get that off the edge just a little bit more. Bring this over if I can, just a little. Or not. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really getting any more movement. I don't think I'm going to be able to move that over. All right, I have kind of a love-hate with this right now. <laughs> I love the colors. I love how it's moving. This, you know, this is kind of what I had envisioned, but some of the spaces in the middle, I'm not going to point my fingers are. I might actually do um, just some, you know, after paint modifications. I think I might do that and see if it, it, uh, if it takes away the hate part. All right, here's what that guy looks like. Oops. Here's what this one looks like. I am going to, uh, I might do some mods on it and I will do, the, uh, I will uh, come back and show you the flyover. All right, I decided to keep it. <laughs> I loved the colors, but I just wasn't, grasping grasping the uh, placement of the cells so I turned it into a Halloween wonderland <laughs> with the super modifications um, and I'm pretty happy with it now I'm I really want to see how it dries I, I'll probably just keep this for myself and this was this was a lot of fun actually um, just with trying that technique where you put the the two colors and then the swipe in the middle we're gonna get some really nice shimmers from that gold and then there's shimmers in there too from that uh, antique copper. But I do like how the, the colors mix together. And it, it, is, it is a bit Halloween-y. <laughs> and I wasn't thinking of that, I, you know, and I should have been. But I think it's pretty cool. So I will be back once it's dried to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece you saw me do. And <laughs> you saw I was a little hesitant because I, I, 
I wasn't sure. I loved the the colors and how they kind of spread out, but I wasn't sure about the cells. And so, I thought, okay, maybe if I make some modifications, and then it kind of turned into super mod, <laughs> as you saw with the flyover. And I didn't record it because I, I honestly wasn't expecting to do that much. And then I just got totally into it, and 20 minutes went by, and I was like, I probably should have recorded this. <laughs> But then I ended up really loving it. Like it just kind of took it to another level. And so, you know, I'll, uh, you know, I'm going to show you the piece, the dried results and my thoughts on it. And I'll, uh, you know, if you, if, if you like what you see, that'd be kind of fun to do another one kind of like this, but also doing the super mod with it. So here it is as a whole before I start moving it around. And I haven't settled on the orientation because it's, there's a lot of different ways I like it, but I really like the the gold background here. The black umber, you know, I thought it was going to be cool, but I thought, okay, maybe if I use like a, a metallic brown or metallic black um, next time. But anyway, let me bring you in. I kind of did a lot of, I loved, you know, what was going on here, kind of the wispiness. And then same over here, but I just kind of wanted to add to it, add some swirls and a lot of my little, <clears throat> I don't even know what you call them, <laughs> but I like, I like doing them. <laughs> um, but it just turned out really, really cool. I, uh, I, I kept coming back to it and I almost scraped it. I, 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 you know, and after I did all these modifications, I was like, oh, I'm glad I didn't scrape it. <laughs> Something to be said for super mod super modified so this did end up I feel like I ended up saving it with the modifications so um and but I wanted to show you one that I did off camera oh you know what before I do that I wanted to point some things out um when you're doing super mods on any canvas either on purpose or trying to save something you know your paint is drying as it's sitting there so um if you can kind of see, I mean, where a lot of, you know, the, where I dragged through the paint, you can kind of see it. And, you know, if you, you'll see it more if you're going to varnish over it. And then some bubbles I tried to pop that were, you know, halfway drying. So <laughs> I, I need to take all that into consideration. And I'm still learning this as well. But you know, resining over it, it's it's going to hide a lot of that. But uh, if you want to varnish, that's just something to take into consideration when you're attempting this the super mods. Yes, you're going to see, you know, the longer it sits, the more it's going to dry. So, but this piece, this is a small piece. This was my first ever trying to do kind of <clears throat> where I did the one color on top, one color on the bottom, and then the, the swipe in the middle. Uh, this was kind of my practice one, um, and I did add some modifications to it, but I kind of, this is originally what I was kind of going for, but I did add modifications here. And, but overall, this was a really fun uh, technique, I think, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to explore it some more. So let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Did you like it before the super mods or after? Like when I had it on the spinner and I was still hemming and hawing over it or as you saw it uh, with the flyover and here dried. This one was calling out for something else. So, but it, it, it ended up being just really cool and a lot of fun. And I definitely want to try this again. I promise next time I will film the super modifications. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.